Improving social determinants of health is crucial to improving a patient's overall health. Studies have shown that improving the health of the community goes beyond what we as doctors provide in the clinic setting. These are things like food insecurity, housing insecurity, access to transportation, maintenance of basic utilities, and interpersonal safety. One systematic review found that childhood exposure to evictions was associated with harms to neurodevelopment and overall child health. So, think, so if trying to prevent eviction by possibly giving some resources on low-cost housing can contribute to um, uh, overall improved health outcomes for children. Another study published in JAMA International Medicine 2014 found that an increasing number of material need insecurities like food insecurity, cost-related medication underuse, housing insecurity, and energy insecurity was associated with poor diabetes control and an increased use of healthcare resources. Despite widespread acceptance that screening for social determinants of health is an important part of increasing overall health for our communities, there are still some clinics where this screening has not been implemented. And with my project, I set out to make this important change in the clinic where I work in rural North Carolina, Sampson County. So in order to put the screening protocol in place, I first had to develop a list of community resources that I could use to refer patients who screen positive. So I reached out to fellow colleagues um, at my other clinics, um, the local health department, hospital administration, and um, the social work team at the local hospital to you know, make the most comprehensive list that I could. Um, compiling my resources was actually one of the most challenging things that I um, had to face in that um, I found that there are so many groups within Samson County that are really doing uh, really good work for the community, but it was hard to kind of find everything in one central hub. Um, and I also discovered that, you know, there are other things like NC Care 360 and NC 211 that kind of try to help um, you know, coordinate all these different resources, but I didn't find that these were widely used in Samson County. So um, I spoke with the local health department and they, um, they are in the process of creating a sort of a database where all these resources can be found. But until that is rolled out, I'm kind of keeping my own running list. For the screening tool, um, I found multiple social determinants of health screeners through the AFP, CMS, and um, the North Carolina Department of uh, Health and Human Ser Services. And uh, I aligned my screening tool closely with the one from uh, NCDHHS. And that covers food insecurity, housing insecurity, transportation difficulties, energy insecurity, and interpersonal safety. So in July, I was tasked with opening a new clinic in Spivey's Corner, North Carolina. And it was important to me to get to implement the screening in this new clinic. At this clinic, all new patients are screened and then will be again at the annual visit. And then uh, any patient that screens positive, I'd like to rescreen at six months for ongoing assistance. So fortunately, most patients have been screening negative, but um, in just two months, um, I've been able to assist uh, many patients at, at least 10 have screened positive, um, and I've been able to give them resources, um, and that's just an ongoing process. And this is in a new clinic, not you know, kind of building up a caseload and everything, and we've already been able to um, provide resources to quite a few people. So moving forward, there's still so much to be done. Um, one thing I'd like to do is integrate the screening tool into the EMR. Um, I would also, right now I just use a paper um, questionnaire that is then scanned into the chart. Um, I would like for the screening to be um, sort of streamlined so everybody can kind of, you know, um, just use it very easily. Um, I would also like to see that an alert on the chart for anybody who screened uh, positive so that we can kind of aid in uh, follow up. My goal is for all our six associated outpatient clinics to implement this screening, hopefully within the next year. 
And in order to assist with this, I'll continue to work with hospital administration, clinic managers, and also reaching out to my colleagues um, to help them implement this very important screening and to make it standard practice within our system. Um, in addition to this, we need to find a way to close the loop, um, like developing a way to assess whether um, any of the resources that we gave were actually able to be utilized by the patients. Um, it would be useful to know which resources were helpful and which ones were more difficult to access. So this could be done with a follow-up survey or phone call. Um, I know Samson currently does a patient satisfaction survey, and I was thinking maybe it could be embedded into that. Um, but regardless of how we kind of do this, um, we'd have to also implement a designated like team member to track all of this, follow up, um, collect some, collect that data, and possibly um, you know send it back to the hospital administration and, and maybe even the local health department to help them aid in future development of programs. So this is a, definitely an ongoing process, but I'm glad that we were able to, to kind of start, start the process. And that's pretty much mine. Thank <laughs> you.